Aloha, top of the morning friends and family. I hope you guys enjoyed the last video this past weekend showing a little update some of the animals we did. Gonna do another one like that this weekend with different animals that you guys requested in the comments to see. Uh, this video today is just me uncut. I'm gonna play a little song for you at the end. And I am getting ready to go to Tinley Park, NARBC Reptile Show. And that's coming up this weekend. So I'm hoping to see you guys there. Um, it sounds like it's going to be pretty fun. There's like, there's some, uh, well, I'm actually about to do a Instagram live stream with Robin and one other person, Robin from Redline. And we're just going to talk about what to expect at Tinley and uh, something Robin was thinking about doing. So we'll jump on there. I'll put a link to that as well. You can check out that video that we did that we haven't done yet. And I'm just looking forward to going to seeing all my reptile buddies and and uh, just hang out and have a good time. Antoine from High Desert Pythons has organized a grappling match that's going to take place, I believe, Friday, 7 p.m. in the hall where the auction is held on Saturday for U.S. ARC. And that should be pretty entertaining. And, and uh, it's going to hopefully raise a lot of money for both U.S. ARC and for the Legacy Aquarium, for Brian's Aquarium. So looking forward to attending that event, looking forward to just flying out and just going and, and having a good time. And also looking forward to, um, you know, a few weeks from now when I'm not going to be leaving the county that I live in or the state <laughs> for, you know, at least a few weeks because I've been, I've been going. There's not much time for a whole lot. So it was just fine. It's, it's great. It's busy. I'm definitely busy and doing a lot. And all of that's great. Um, it's also... Well, I say it's great. It's also a little bit like, wow, there's a lot happening. Um, and yeah, so it's kind of a balance between this and that. And, and there's so much, uh, I could never say it all in one uncut video, but it's just like the, the new the new position at the um, church, the, you know, make sure all the animals are good and organizing everything that comes in with that and just shipped out a snake today, all the traveling you know, my grandma's kind of um, not doing so hot, so really hoping to get there before uh, too long, which hopefully she makes it to her 90th birthday. That would be awesome. Um, I'm going to find out in a couple weeks, I guess. And, yeah, just wanted to make an update. I didn't do an uncut video for you guys last week. We haven't been doing any live streams. Just been balls to the wall over here, going strong, going hard. Which is again is good, but also just a lot happening. So I'm actually leaving in after we do this live stream with Robin. I'll be heading out to do the middle school um, youth worship in, right after that. And I was gonna play a song for you guys that I ooh ooh one more thing one more thing before I play the song. Sunday morning in Chicago. I've mentioned this to you guys before, but I wanted to retouch on it. Mike from Mike's Monitors. Uh, he and myself, and then whoever else is interested, whoever else is going to be in the area, we're going to do a little Sunday like prayer morning fellowship thing. And we haven't determined the location, but we're not going to do it Sunday morning, um, probably around 8 a.m. or so at Tinley Park. And again, location will be updated. I'll, pr I'll probably post an Instagram live once I connect with Mike and we figure out exactly where a good spot's going to be. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be 8 a.m. Sunday morning. I'll confirm that as well and make a post here on Instagram. Or here on Instagram. I'll make a YouTube live. I'll make a YouTube post. We'll post about it on Instagram in a post and a live. And we'll look forward to see as many as you can attend Sunday morning there with us. And this song I learned last week so that I could uh, lead it for the students and I just I've loved it I've loved it it's it's such a great song I've I didn't realize that well I guess I should have realized I'd be learning a whole lot of new songs that I didn't know and this one I just really liked so hopefully I can do it justice the story behind this song is um this guy John McMillan that wrote it and he had a buddy who was saying they were having a conversation and I, I might get the story wrong but it's along the lines of in the conversation around the dinner table, the guy who wrote the song, his friend, said that if he could just, he would be willing to give his life if kids could come to know Jesus, and he would change his life for that. And like, I think that night or the next day, he was killed in a car crash, and they were they had been talking about writing this song, and this song has gone on way beyond. Um, so, you know, I hope I didn't get that story too wrong, but it. I learned that after I learned the song, and it was 
it's pretty touching and I just really, really love playing it. So I'm going to play it for you guys. Hopefully you like it too. Hopefully I don't mess it up too badly. like a hurricane I am a tree bending beneath the weight of his wind and mercy and all of a sudden I am unaware of these afflictions eclipsed by glory and I realize just how beautiful you are and how your affections are for me and oh how he loves us all oh how he loves us how he loves us all like a hurricane I am a tree bending beneath the weight of his wind and mercy and all of a sudden I am unaware of these afflictions eclipsed by glory and I realize just how beautiful you are and how your affections are You guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other. And um, again, link to that thing on for Instagram that we're about to do here in a couple minutes. 
down below or just follow me on Instagram. You can find it live. We'll post it after there. Um, God bless you all. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And we'll see you on the next video. Aloha.